They say blood is thicker than water. But what happens when that very blood turns into poison? When love and hatred become inseparable? This is the tragic story of two brothers, Leon and David, whose unbreakable bond was torn apart by jealousy, betrayal, and a woman whose presence would lead to the unraveling of everything they once held dear. Leon and David grew up in the rolling countryside, where their days were spent running through fields, climbing trees, and dreaming of a future far away from the small, sleepy town that had always been their home. In the innocence of childhood, they were inseparable, like two sides of the same coin. Where one went, the other followed. If one was hurt, the other felt the pain. Leon, the older brother by three years, was always the charismatic leader. With his infectious energy and easy smile, he was the boy everyone wanted to befriend. He had a natural ability to charm and command respect. David, quieter and more reserved, admired Leon with an admiration that bordered on reverence. The town was small, and new faces were a rarity. When Sophia arrived, she stirred the quiet streets like a gust of wind before a storm. Sophia was not like the other girls from the village. She was elegant, with raven black hair that cascaded down her back, and her eyes, a deep, piercing green, seemed to hold secrets too heavy for her slender frame. Wherever she went, she drew attention. People whispered about her beauty and wondered where she had come from. One sunny afternoon, Leon spotted her at the marketplace. She was negotiating with a vendor, her voice calm and confident. Leon, intrigued by her demeanor and striking looks, approached her with his usual charm, striking up a conversation as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Sophia was like a storm wrapped in silk, stunning and enigmatic. She had a magnetism that drew Leon in completely. He found himself wanting to spend more time with her, intoxicated by her beauty and mystery. David noticed Sophia too, but unlike Leon, David was quieter, more secretive in his feelings. He admired her from a distance, his attraction to her simmering just beneath the surface. Every glance, every passing word from her seemed to linger with him long after she had gone. Where Leon was bold and forward with his affections, David kept his admiration hidden, convincing himself that it was just a fleeting infatuation, something that would pass. But some feelings don't fade with time, they grow. As Leon and Sophia's relationship deepened, something within David began to change. Every time he saw them together, laughing, holding hands, it gnawed at him. The love he had for his brother began to feel like a chain, something binding him to a life of watching Leon take everything David quietly wanted. Jealousy is a quiet whisper at first, a thought that maybe things could have been different, that maybe if circumstances had shifted ever so slightly, the outcome could have changed. But as the days passed, that whisper grew louder until it was all David could hear. Tension began to creep into their once solid relationship. Leon noticed David pulling away, becoming more distant, avoiding eye contact, and making excuses to leave whenever Sophia was around. But Leon, in his usual way, brushed it off as nothing serious. He chalked it up to David being moody, or perhaps going through something he didn't yet understand. Sophia noticed too. Her interactions with David became more charged, as if they both knew there was something unspoken between them. Sophia, though seemingly kind-hearted, had a darker side. She enjoyed the attention David gave her. She noticed the way his eyes lingered on her just a moment too long, the way his words seemed more careful when they spoke. And though she was with Leon, Sophia was not blind to David's growing admiration. There were moments, fleeting yet powerful, where Sophia would play into David's unspoken desires. She would lean just a little too close, her hand brushing against his, her smile lingering a little too long. It was all so subtle that Leon never noticed, but to David, these moments were magnified. Sophia, aware of the power she held over both brothers, began to enjoy the game she was playing. She said to him that, Leon is always so confident. Isn't he? Sometimes I wonder what it's like to be more reserved. Like you, David, growing more confused by his feelings and Sophia's mixed signals, began to withdraw further from Leon, though his heart burned with jealousy. He couldn't shake the thought that if Leon hadn't approached Sophia first, 
she might have chosen him. One evening, after a local festival, the tension between the brothers boiled over. Leon, noticing David's coldness more than ever, finally confronted him. David said that, You take everything from me, Leon. You always have. First our father's approval, now Sophia. You always take what you want, and I'm left with nothing. Leon, confused and hurt by the outburst, tried to calm David down. But the words hung in the air, impossible to take back. David said, what are you talking about? I've always looked out for you, Sophia. She's with me because she wants to be. This isn't about you. But to David, that felt like a deeper betrayal. It wasn't about Sophia anymore. It was about years of being in Leon's shadow, always the second best, the follower, never the one who was chosen. As the tension between the brothers reached its breaking point, David's jealousy finally erupted into something darker, something he couldn't control. The wind outside howled like an omen as David approached the house. Inside the house, Leon was preparing for dinner with Sophia. The table was set, the warm light of the hearth casting flickering shadows against the walls. He hummed quietly to himself, thinking of Sophia, unaware that outside, his brother approached, carried by the storm of his own jealousy. David entered the house without knocking, his footsteps heavy with purpose. Leon turned, surprised to see his brother at such a late hour, especially after their tense encounter at the festival. But something was different this time. David's eyes were wild. His fists clenched as if he were holding onto his sanity by a thread. Leon raising an eyebrow. David? What are you doing here? David didn't respond at first. His gaze was fixed on Leon, his mind replaying every moment he had watched Leon with Sophia. Every stolen glance, every shared laugh, the image of them together twisted in his mind, warping into a cruel mockery of his unrequited feelings. The silence stretched on, thick with the weight of unspoken emotions. Leon took a step forward, sensing something was wrong. His usually composed brother now looked on the verge of breaking. Leon concerned. David, what's going on? You've been acting strange for weeks. The words fell like stones between them. David's chest tightened. All the years of living in Leon's shadow, of watching him effortlessly charm everyone, including Sophia, finally boiled over. His mind raced, every thought laced with bitterness, every memory tainted by the feeling of being second, of being less. David, accusing, voice trembling. You always take everything. You think I don't notice, but I do. You took her from me, just like you always do. Leon, genuinely confused, furrowed his brow. He stepped closer, trying to reach his brother through the haze of anger. Leon, exasperated. David, stop this. Sophia wasn't yours to take. She's with me because she loves me. This isn't about you. But to David, those words were like gasoline on a fire. His vision blurred, clouded by rage. She loves me. The sentence echoed in his head, twisting his already tormented thoughts. Every syllable was a knife, cutting deeper into the wound that jealousy had carved into his heart. David's breathing grew ragged, his pulse pounding in his ears. His fists clenched tighter as the room seemed to shrink, closing in around him. Then, in an instant, everything snapped. David's eyes flicked to the counter, where a knife, shiny and sharp, lay unattended. Without thinking, driven purely by the storm inside him, he grabbed it. Leon saw the movement but didn't flinch. He didn't think his brother, the boy he had raised and protected, could possibly harm him. But David's mind had gone dark. Consumed by the overwhelming bitterness that had festered for so long, he couldn't see clearly. All he saw was Leon, the source of his suffering, the obstacle to his happiness. In a flash of movement, David lashed out, the blade catching the warm light of the fire as it plunged forward. Leon eyes wide, disbelieving. David! Time seemed to freeze in the moment after. Leon's hand instinctively went to his chest, where the knife had sunk deep. His eyes locked with David's. Confusion? pain, and betrayal all swirling in those final moments of realization. Blood began to seep through his fingers, staining the fabric of his shirt. 
He stumbled backward, a strangled gasp escaping his lips as he collapsed to the floor. For what felt like an eternity, the room was silent except for the sound of David's heavy, panicked breathing and the fading, shallow breaths of his brother. The knife clattered to the ground, forgotten, as David's mind raced to catch up with what had just happened. David, whispering, horrified, What have I done? Leon lay motionless on the floor, his eyes still open, but the life in them was fading fast. His breaths were slowing, growing weaker by the second. David, frozen in place, couldn't move. His hands were trembling, slick with his brother's blood. The weight of what he had done crashed over him like a wave, suffocating him. The anger that had driven him moments before now evaporated, leaving only guilt and horror in its wake. Outside, Sophia's voice called out, soft at first, then louder as she approached the house. David's heart raced as he realized what was about to happen. Sophia, from outside, cheerful. Leon, I'm here. The sound of her approaching footsteps snapped David back to reality. Panic surged through him. He couldn't let her see this. He couldn't face what he had done. Without thinking, he turned and fled through the back door, disappearing into the night, leaving behind the bloodstained scene of his brother's murder. Moments later, Sophia entered the house, her smile fading the moment her eyes fell upon Leon's lifeless body. The sight was like a punch to her chest, knocking the air from her lungs. She rushed forward, dropping to her knees beside him, her hands shaking as she touched his blood-soaked shirt. Sophia screaming, her voice raw. Leon, no, no. Her cries echoed through the house, a sound so filled with anguish it seemed to tear through the very walls. She pressed her hands against his wound, as if by sheer will she could stop the life from draining out of him. But it was too late. His skin was already cold, his once bright eyes staring blankly ahead. Sophia sobbing. What happened? What did you do? But there was no one there to answer her. David was gone, vanished into the night, leaving behind only devastation in his wake. David's disappearance sent shockwaves through the small town. Word of Leon's death spread like wildfire, and soon the streets were filled with whispers and speculation. No one knew where David had gone, but rumors flew. Some said he had fled into the mountains, others that he had taken his own life out of guilt. Sophia was left alone to bear the weight of the tragedy. In the days following Leon's death, she became a ghost of herself, wandering the town in a daze. Her once bright eyes were now dull, hollowed out by grief. Everywhere she went, she felt the weight of the town's judgment. Though she had never intended for things to escalate to this point, she couldn't deny her role in the brother's downfall. People whispered as she passed, their eyes following her with suspicion and pity. The woman who had once enchanted everyone now seemed cursed, as if her very presence had brought about the destruction of an entire family. Sophia withdrew from everyone. The lively, enigmatic woman who had once captured Leon's heart now lived in isolation, haunted by the memory of his lifeless body on the floor. Every night, she was plagued by nightmares. Leon's eyes, filled with shock and pain, staring up at her from the blood-stained ground. And always, in the background, David's voice echoed, accusing her, blaming her for everything. Sophia, voice trembling, I didn't mean for this to happen. I never meant for any of it. But it didn't matter. The damage was done. The love triangle, fueled by jealousy and misunderstanding, had spiraled into a tragedy that no one could have foreseen.